KECI TV is proud to serve the following areas. KECI TV, in touch with Western Montana. Through these translators, KCFW 9 Kalispell's News Channel is pleased to broadcast your favorite news, weather, and sports program. Thank you for viewing. The ski patrols found the body of a missing man on a big mountain. A diabetic driver is sentenced for the deaths of three people, and snowpack numbers are in. That in your weather and sports up next. You're watching NBC Montana, the news leader, with Wade Neilhall, Heidi Myers, Mark Hayton, and Todd Wade. This is the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Heidi Miley. I'm Wade Mulehoff. Searchers have found the body of a missing man on Big Mountain. Elise Stoll was on the mountain today and has this story. Coming up next on the News at 6, the search for a man missing on Big Mountain over the weekend ends in tragedy. We'll have the details. Plus, the future of Flathead High is once again up for debate before school trustees. These stories and more next on the News at 6. You're watching KCFW 9, the news leader. This is the News at 6. The body of a man missing on Big Mountain has been found. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Fetfly. 21-year-old Sam Vesti was last seen with co-workers at the Hell Roaring Bar and Restaurant late Saturday night. You're watching the News Channel. Local. Live. Late breaking. This is the News at 10. Good evening, everyone, with our top stories. We're watching the News Channel with Steve Petfine, Heidi Miley, Mark Aga, and Christian Reed. This is the News at 10, voted newscast of the year by the Montana Broadcasters Association and the Associated Press. Watching the News Channel with Steve Petfine, Heidi Miley, Mark Aka, and Christian Reed. This is the News at 10, voted newscast of the year by the Montana Broadcasters Association and the Associated Press. And now, from the Precision Storm Team, AMS Certified Meteorologist Mark Aka. Hello again, everyone. 24 hours ago, of course, we had ice and snow in the Flathead Valley and parts of the Northwest. What Tonight on the News at 10, from the streets of Manhattan to the halls of Congress, a grand jury's decision not to indict a police officer in a deadly confrontation is drawing cries of protest. Plus, NASA is making a major stride on space travel. Here in Montana, a proud mother will be watching as her son's work makes history and a blind Missoula dog who almost didn't make it until the right man came along. We've got a one-of-a-kind love story. This is NBC Montana. You're watching the news at 10. Winter weather could cause some trouble in the morning for commuters. Good evening everyone. I'm Steve Fetfight. Laurel has the night off tonight. It's not a major storm we're talking about here, but slippery roads are very likely. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Mark Haka for the latest. Mark? That's right. We still have inversions in place. Cold air trapped in the valleys. Pacific air will go up and over that cold air and it'll bring a mixture of snow and rain to the area. NBC Montana Today starts right now. I'm Heidi Miley. Seattle Children's Hospital is revealing that one patient has died and five others have been infected by a potentially dangerous mold. Live in high definition, this is NBC Montana News at 5. The spring runoff is gathering steam, and today the Severe Weather Alert team is tracking flood warnings for parts of the Flathead. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Fetby. And I'm Laurel Staples. We're tracking road closures and problem areas, but first we want to get the very latest on the weather. Heard at a carnival in Missoula has us taking a look at safety measures on carnival rides closer to home. Plus, a low unemployment, is that what we want? Or do we? why a low unemployment rate in Bozeman is causing high anxiety for MSU. And back to school means back to bullying for some students. How to help your kids cope. NBC Montana News at 6 starts right now. 
Happening now, Montana businesses continuing to feel the squeeze of low unemployment. A minor league ball game. And a plan to use property tax money to breathe new life into this part of Butte. NBC Montana News at 6 starts right now. Well, winds, hail, and plenty of lightning over the weekend. Those weekend storms had many of you on high alert. Your odds of getting hit by one of those bolts of lightning less than one in a million in a year. And tonight, in a story you'll only see here on NBC Montana, a Missoula woman shares her story of the moment one of those weekend bolts changed. Right now at 10, why law enforcement support a bill in the legislature that would stop them from getting some underage drinkers in trouble. Plus, a Bozeman musher gets her dogs ready to race to the sky. How she's keeping an eye on her pups in the warm temperatures. And how this Montana skier beat the odds and a disability to make it to an international competition. Live in high definition, this is NBC Montana News at 10. The State Division of Criminal Investigation takes over in investigating an officer-involved shooting in Butte that left one man in the hospital. Good evening and thanks for joining us on NBC Montana. I'm Lauren Mashmit. Now the officer is on paid leave as the DCI tries to figure out what happened. An officer reportedly shot the man during a scuffle between the man and police around 1.30 this morning. Right now at 10, we're keeping a close eye on road conditions as cooler temperatures and fog roll into the area. Plus, new reaction from community members after a man accused of shooting at an officer took off on foot, later to be found and arrested in a quiet neighborhood. And we talked to Montana senators about President Obama's State of the Union address. Live in high definition, this is NBC Montana News at 10. In some areas, roads are snow covered and icy this evening, meaning your morning commute could be a bit dicey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laurel Staples. And I'm Steve Fettvine. There are some ice warnings issued for parts of western Montana, so let's get right to our chief meteorologist, Mark Haka. He's over in the Weather Center with the latest. Mark? All right, well, good evening, everyone. La right now at 10, it's Memorial Day weekend. We'll tell you when a couple of the state's most famous roads open and how to plan for the weather. Plus, a sad ending today after wardens responded to a nuisance bear in a Missoula neighborhood. We were there. And the latest from Texas, where flooding threatens thousands of homes as rainfall continues. Live in high definition, this is NBC Montana News at 10. You're looking live over the Flathead Valley where you can see just a sliver left of daylight. That sun helped bring temperatures close to 80 degrees. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lauren Bradley in for Will Wadley tonight. Thanks for joining us. Warm weather and sunshine is headed our way across western Montana. Meteorologist Brooke Foster is in for Mac Ray and she's standing by with the details. Brooke? Yeah, it looks like another a nice day as we head into your Sunday. Temperatures warming back into the 70s. Northwest Montana close to 80 degrees for the past couple of days. NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. Take a close look at this man, Lee Garrett Medina's behind bars in Flathead County. News at 5, a shift from airplanes to satellite. How and why incident commanders are changing the way they measure wildfires. Plus, from twilight fishing to afternoon barbecues, I've got all the details on your Labor Day forecast. And a warning for anyone to be betrayed this holiday weekend. NBC Montana News at 5 starts right now. It's Labor Day weekend and wildfires continue to burn across the state. A number of hotels in Glacier National Park are reporting lower numbers this holiday weekend compared to last. That's partly because of the Howe Ridge fire is forcing the closure of the going to the sun road and kicking smoke into the air. It's not just smoke. Visitors to Glacier National Park can see signs of wildfire activity in a number of ways. Shuttle stops and benches are covered in protective wrap. NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. Oh, God, they're shooting right there. Oh, he hits the barrier. The cop just hit the barrier. Get out, get out, get out. 
The sounds of gunshots and terror developing tonight out of Odessa, Texas, another mass shooting. That shooter was running from the police when they went on a murderous rampage. Good evening, I'm Olivia Iverson. That shooter was running from the police, and this all happened about 300 and... NBC Montana Today starts right now. Hi, good morning, everybody. At 5 a.m., we do have new information on the coronavirus front. We'll get to that in just a moment. I'm Heidi Miley. We need to hurry over to Brooke Foster in our Severe Weather Alert Center. Boy, is that wind blowing. Brooke. Right, in the Missoula Valley, we've had wind gusts this morning, upwards of around 20 to 30 miles per hour. That breeze developments over the coronavirus. More confirmed cases of COVID-19. I'm using 3D technology to track how fast it's spreading. New orders for some people to stay home, another border closing, and efforts to keep the airline industry flying. I'm Scott Thuman with a look at all those new developments and the action out of Washington. Tonight, utility companies are trying to make customers' lives easier during this health crisis. The news at 5 starts now. NBC Montana News at 5 starts right now. Here's what we know right now as we come on the air. Two additional coronavirus cases this morning out of Gallatin County. We told you about a first online. This brings the total number of cases in the state to 10. It's announced for Missoula County. Grocery stores are doing more to make sure our most vulnerable citizens stay safe during the coronavirus outbreak. I'm Brady Brewster and I'll break down where you could be seeing these changes. Here at Fort Harrison behind me, government agencies are working together to keep us informed about the coronavirus in our state. Tonight, a behind the scenes look at what they do daily. From masks to ventilators, the White House is taking action. I'm Atra Almashar in Washington with the exact steps the president is taking today to make sure we don't run out of supplies. Our special team coverage over the coronavirus continues right now. NBC Montana News at 6 starts right now. New closures tonight due to coronavirus fears. Missoula health officials ordered theaters and gyms to close. The shutdown starts at one minute before midnight and will last until March 24th. But even then, the order could be changed or extended. The Missoula County Jail is limiting how many new inmates they'll take. All citizens stay safe during the coronavirus outbreak. I'm Brady Brewster and I'll break down where you could be seeing these changes. Here at Fort Harrison behind me, government agencies are working together to keep us informed about their coronavirus in our state. Tonight, a behind the scenes look at what they do daily. Plus the latest update from Gallatin County health officials. It's not just enough to test. It's not enough, just enough to monitor. Your news at six starts right now. NBC Montana News at six starts right now. Good evening to you. I'm Orlinda Worthington. New closures, new cases. We have team coverage on coronavirus tonight. Gallatin. NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. More and more cases confirmed of coronavirus in Montana tonight. Just in the past few hours, officials in Cascade County reported three there. That adds to the nearly 27 cases confirmed by the state earlier today. Now let's break it all down. All of today's new cases include a Gallatin County woman in her 50s, two Gallatin County men in their 60s. Those. NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. Well, we're tracking a drastic change in air quality tonight. In these images you see on your screen, well, they speak for themselves. You can see on your left a time lapse from our Butte weather camera last night, and then on the right, same spot, but just a few hours. The battle for the president's seat in person in Cleveland. We've got a preview of the action locally and nationally. Plus, the number of COVID-19 cases continue to increase here in Montana, but there's still one county in the clear. We'll tell you what's different there. I knew I knew I had to get down there and help people. Tonight, a story of Montanans jumping into action to help those affected by Hurricane Laura. Just what they brought back may surprise you. Working for you, NBC Montana News at 5 starts right now. Here's what's happening right now. New cases of COVID.
in six days in Montana. We're asking what it would take to tighten restrictions. The answer might surprise you. Could the legalization of marijuana be a turning point in Montana's economy? I'm Mackenzie Quinn in Butte, where the southwestern areas have seen a 43% tax revenue decrease. We take a look at that proposal that's expected to be on the ballot this year. We'll have more on that tonight. Plus, where were you one year ago today? We'll show you one place you didn't want to be. Working for you. NBC Montana News at 6 starts right now. In our top story, a new study from the University of Montana shows legalized marijuana could bring in tens of millions every year. In I'm Mackenzie Quinn in Butte, where the southwestern areas have seen a 43% tax revenue decrease. We take a look at that proposal that's expected to be on the ballot this year. We'll have more on that tonight. Recycling is good, but only if done right. Unfortunately, the plastic does have to be bottle or jug shaped, so something like this container is not acceptable. We confusion on what can and can't go into the bins in Bozeman. Plus, where were you one year ago today? We show you one place in Montana you didn't want to be. Working for you. NBC Montana News at 6 starts right now. Nice to have you with us tonight. We reported yesterday how the Bozeman School Board would be discussing the details of their plan to... A slugfest or a debate were there. I'm Scott Duman in Cleveland, Ohio. The first presidential debate is in the books. We'll show you what happened. Plus, we showed you the demand for police transparency. Tonight, I'm working for you to find out what that transparency looks like in the Missoula Police Department. And check out the taste of Hollywood that showed tonight in Missoula. Working for you, NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. We've all heard the calls for more transparency from law enforcement. So Working for you, NBC Montana News at 10 starts right now. Right now, multiple fire agencies are battling a wildland fire in the Land and Hills area southwest of Three Forks. The fire is burning in Juniper and Sagebrush, causing a lot of thick smoke you see here. You're watching Channel 13, your news center. You're watching KCFW 9, Kalispell's News Channel. NBC Montana is Western Montana's only local news at 5. That means every weekday, we bring you all your Montana news and weather earlier than anybody else. Get breaking news at 5, major local news at 5, and your severe weather alert team forecast, you guessed it, at 5 o'clock. There's only one station bringing you local news at 5. Join Laurel Staple, Steve Petfight, and meteorologist Mark Haka. Don't miss Western Montana's only news at 5. NBC Montana, weeknights at 5 o'clock.